Hello, sports fans, sports betters, and YouTube Nation. John here with Ricket Picks. Hope everybody's having a great and happy Thursday. Um, it's Thursday, August 6th, 2020. This is 2020. Uh, we're still rocking 2020. A uh, little bit of a rough day today. Actually, not too bad. It wasn't terrible. Um, chart picks went one and one, um, mainly because uh, Washington Nationals were the top chart pick. And Max Scherzer went down with an injury in the first inning. And um, that's that sports betting, that sports gambling. That's you, you never know if a starting pitcher is going to get hurt in the first inning, and then it's going to be a bullpen game. As soon as he went down, I knew the Washington Nationals were not going to win that game. The Mets are a better team than the Nationals bullpen is, and uh, you know that they 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 fought hard. It was three to one was the final score, so it wasn't terrible. But um, you know, had Max pitched that entire game, I think Washington would have won. It would have been a different result, but. You know, when your starting pitcher goes down and a stud like that, it will take the wind out of a team's sails pretty quick. And I believe that's what happened. So, um, you know, I can't fault my chart. I can, you know, it's just, it's one of those things that just happens. Uh, the Twins were the other one on the chart. They got the job done. Uh, took a while. Took them a while. It was one nothing going into the ninth, and the final score ended up 5-2. to two. So, uh, you know, a lot happened in the ninth inning of that game. Um, Free, free play uh, YouTube video was the Rays. They just did not show up. They got beat 5-0 by the Boston Red Sox. That's going to happen. Um, over on the premium side, I had the Pittsburgh Penguins on the three-way. It was their game to win, and they let the Canadians have it there in the third period. Um, it was all tied up at two apiece going into the third period, and the Penguins did not score. The Canadians scored one. That was all she wrote there. Um, had the Cubs on the first five uh, run line. They were up 2-1. to one. After five, you Darvish uh, took care of us there and uh, got the win. Um, the uh, Also had the uh, Chicago White Sox on the money line. They lost to the Milwaukee Brewers one to nothing. You know, uh, I would have put a lot of money on the White Sox scoring at least one or two runs. Uh, I wouldn't think they got shut out, but uh, they did. Uh, that was a loser for us. Uh, you know, another one of those things that, that, that happens. The team just goes cold. Um, and then on the uh, we had soccer. Um, started off the day um, three and zero with, with uh, the overnight soccer or early morning soccer games. And then uh, the Portland Timbers they took care of us. Had them uh, took them on the Peckham, and uh, they won the game. So got the job done there. So we're moving on. Um, Major League Baseball August twenty sixth. Thing just went away here. Um, we got the Oakland Athletics versus the um, Texas Rangers. Um, the A's have been taking care of the Rangers in this series, um, not not heavily, but they've been handling them, you know, fairly well. And we got Mike Miner going up versus Mike Fires here, uh, a battle of the Mikes, if you will. But uh, Mike Miner on the season, a far cry from last season so far. He's 0-2 with a 5.91 ERA so far. Um, the bad news for Miner is uh, last year he was 1-3 with a 6.33 ERA and a 1.37 WHIP. And five starts against the Athletics. Um, I guess that's the last two years stats there um, since he's been with Texas. So um, he does not do well um, pitching against the Athletics. And over on the other side, you got Mike Fires, who, you know, he had a great season last year. He's struggling this year. He's 0 0 with a 5.40 ERA. Um, can't find, you know, can't find a strikeout pitch. He's only got three Ks, um, but he looked better in his last outing. Granted, he was pitching against Seattle, but they have some pretty good hitters up there, so. You know, um, I see this game being a really tight, good, close game. Um, Oakland's hitters, they usually don't have a high average versus any pitcher, but they have a steady, consistent average. I mean, they're just a team that will grind you into the ground um, until they take care of business. So that's what I'm going to roll with. Um, I haven't looked at the lines yet for any of these games, so I do apologize. I don't have the numbers um, handy. But your official Ricketts Diamond Paw pick of the game is going to be the Oakland Athletics on the money line for a one unit play. Um, let's go get a free play video. Dropped one. Um, had four straight wins going on. Was trying to make it five, but uh, you know, we're going to get a streak started right back up and get right back into it. Um, if you guys have not already, hit that thumbs up button. If you appreciate true free daily sports betting advice, hit the subscribe button, tap the bell, turn your notifications on if you want the videos as soon as they drop. Let's roll. Let's make some money. Um, go check out Patreon if you guys want. Uh, check out the Discord. Highly recommend it. There was a guy over there that, uh, you know, was 10-0 and in two days in basketball. So, you know, you can't make this stuff up. It's it's all documented and all there. So, it's all good. And uh, all my stuff's documented, too. So, if you guys want to go check it out, go check it out. But, 
appreciate everybody for watching this video. Without you guys, uh, there's no reason to do this. So you keep me rocking, keep me rolling. I really do appreciate you. And I uh, hope you, everybody has a great day. And most importantly, good luck with your bets.